Assalamualaikum. My name is Nida Javed and I am working as a senior lecturer in University Institute of Diet and Nutritional Sciences, University of Lahore. The topic I choose for today's discussion is thyroid gland. Learning objective of this presentation include normal thyroid gland anatomy, structure, the regulation of thyroid hormone secretion and functions of thyroid hormones on body. Starting uh, with the anatomy of the thyroid gland, uh, thyroid gland consists of two lobes of endocrine tissues, right lobe and left lobe. Uh, these two lobes is joined in the middle by a thin strip known as isthmus. This butterfly shaped gland is present located below the larynx in front of the neck and wrapped around the trachea. As you are seeing in this uh, picture that it is uh, a bow shaped or butterfly shaped gland. Thyroid gland has been known as the largest gland of the body that normally weighs 10 to 20 grams in an adult. Thyroid gland performs various metabolic functions in the body. There are two types of cells present in thyroid gland, including follicular cells and parafollicular cells. Parafollicular cells are also known as C cells. Follicular cells produces two hormones that are major thyroid hormones T3 and T4. T, uh, major constituent of thyroid hormones that is T3 and T4 are iodine and amino acid tyrosine. Uh, T3 is also known as triiodothyronine while T4 is known as uh, thyroxine or tetraiodothyronine. This prefix uh, tetra and tri uh, is, uh, denotes the number of iodine atoms incorporated into each of the hormones. Every cell in the body depends upon thyroid hormone for regulation of their metabolism. T4 is majorly a hormone that is secreted by the thyroid and approximately of all the thyroid hormone produced, T4 uh, is released or produced 80% in the total amount, while T3 is produced for only for 20%. But when we uh, talk about the activeness or more active uh, hormone in the body, T3 is four times more potent than T4 and almost all thyroxine in the body is eventually converted into T3 in tissues when required in the maintenance of the metabolism. Uh, between the interstitial spaces of the follicles, there are another type of cells present as I have told earlier that are known as parafollicular cells or C cells. These cells are responsible for the secretion of peptide hormone that is known as calcitonin. Calcitonin plays a crucial role in calcium metabolism. Uh, as uh, now we sum up all of the thyroid hormones that are produced in the body, thyroid gland produces mainly three hormones. Two of them are major thyroid producing, thyroid hormone producing uh, T3 and T4 and next is calcitonin that plays role in the calcium metabolism. When we talk about thyroid hormone secretion, thyroid hormone secretion is controlled by the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is the small peanut shaped gland present in hypothalamus and it is further classified into posterior pituitary gland and anterior pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is present in the hypothalamus. When the level of the thyroid hormones T3 and T4 drops too low, the pituitary gland produces thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the production of thyroid hormone T3 and T4 resulting the raising their blood, uh, raising their level in the blood. When we talk about the regulation of thyroid hormone secretion, thyroid hormone secretion is regulated by hypothalamus, pituitary gland, feedback mechanism and blood iodine levels. I will explain them one by one. Uh, first of all, uh, we will talk about the regulation of thyroid hormone secretion. Uh, uh, from uh, within the hypothalamic uh, regulation, stimulation of hypothalamus lead to the release of thyrotropin relieving hormone TRH. TRH is secreted by the nerve endings in the median eminence of hypothalamus. Uh, TRH increases output of TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone. Hypothalamus can also inhibit the secretion of uh, TRH and TSH and growth hormones by secreting smetostatin. Next, we will talk about the regulation of thyroid hormone by feedback mechanism. Increased thyroid hormone decreases the secretion of TSH by a direct negative feedback effect on the anterior pituitary. This mechanism maintains a constant hormonal level in the body. With this picture, I will tell you how to understand feedback regulation of thyroid hormone secretion. Uh, first of all, in order to understand feedback mechanism, first we must understand that Feedback mechanism itself is further classified into two forms. It, 
in uh, positive feedback mechanism and in the negative feedback mechanism. In positive feedback mechanism, uh, when the, uh, the blood levels of T3 and T4 reduces, the uh, first stimulus goes towards the hypothalamus and resulting release of the TRH. TRH further uh, start the production of TSH from anterior uh, pituitary uh, and then uh, this TSH release into the bloodstream and its target organ is thyroid gland. And when it reaches to the thyroid gland, it uh, started the production of T3 and T4 that will goes into the blood and resulting uh, the level of T3 and T4 maintained in the blood. This involves in the feedback mechanism. And when we talk about the negative feedback mechanism, when uh, levels of T3 and T4 raises in the blood, uh, that will lead to the inhibition of TRH production from the hypothalamus leading to the decrease in the production of TSH and then stop production of T3 and T4 resulting the T3, T4 blood maintenance level occurs. Then we will push towards the pituitary regulation as I have told earlier that uh, pituitary gland plays an important role in the hormonal mechanism of thyroid hormone and it produces TSH. Um, TSH is actually a glycoprotein and that is uh, it depends upon the secretion of the TRH. TRH secretion increases the release of TSH in the body and uh, moreover in the cold and in the uh, east TRH production, TSH production naturally increases from the pituitary gland. Moreover, when there is a too much heat or when there is increased temperature stress or smetostatin and increased thyroid hormone, TSH production reduces from the pituitary gland. Next, we go uh, towards the blood iodine levels. Uh, an adequate dietary iodine intake is essential for normal thyroid function. As I, uh, from the start of the lecture, I will recall that there are two major constituents for uh, thyroid hormone production. One is tyrosine amino acid and other is micro mineral that is iodine. My, uh, iodine is the micro mineral that is amount in very uh, that is required in very less amount for the body to maintain its normal function. According to the World Health Organization, the recommended dietary allowances are DA for iodine is 150 microgram per day. This means that 150 microgram of iodine per day is required for a normal individual to maintain its normal function of the body. Uh, the major food sources of the iodine are iodized salt and uh, seafood and seaweed and uh, eggs and other nutrients. Uh, when we talk about the iodine level, when the iodine intake of iodine falls in the body, the synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormones T3 and T4 reduces, resulting the, uh, the positive feedback mechanism continues and the TSH production increases. This TSH production increases lead to the increased TSH in the blood as well as in the thyroid gland, resulting in the increase of the size of the thyroid gland, that is enlargement of thyroid gland known as the goiter condition. Goiter is the disease condition that is due to the iodine deficiency in the body. Discussing about the major functions of the thyroid gland, first I will enlist them and then I will explain them one by one. Uh, um, thyroid gland and thyroid hormones plays a role in almost every function in the body and majorly it plays role uh, in the carbohydrate, protein and lipid metabolism. Moreover, it also plays important role in the vital uh, measurements of the body including temperature, growth and basal metabolic rate. Uh, it also regulates uh, gastrointestinal tract, menstrual cycle, respiration, body weight and it also uh, plays action on the central nervous system. Uh, the, from the blood T3 and T4 goes into the every organ and every cell of the body resulting in the energy metabolism and in the uh, carbohydrate metabolism and for the growth and for the development of the body. Starting with the basal metabolic rate. Uh, thyroid hormone increases the metabolic activities in most of the body tissues and resulting in the increase of the basal metabolic rate and how it increases the basal metabolic rate it increases the oxygen consumption of the cells moreover it increases uh, uh, the BMR by uh, increase uh, the calorigenic action of the body in hyperthyroidism BMR increases by about 60 to 100 percent above the normal level and in hypothyroidism it falls by 20 to 40 percent below the normal this uh, diagram or this graph shows the relationship between the percent change in basal metabolic rate and thyroid hormone production rate. 
uh, when there is decrease in the thyroid hormone production the percent basal metabolic rate reduces from the normal this means that it, uh, it is that level in the body that uh, actually it reduces the energy uptake of the cells and as compared to it when there is increase uh, high thyroid hormone production in the body there is increase in the basal metabolic rate this means that the body utilizes energy to do its normal uh, metabolism uh, coming towards the protein metabolism thyroid hormone increases the synthesis of protein in the cells and it increases the protein synthesis by accelerating the following ways and by it uh, do it by increasing the transcription of dna to rna uh, by increasing the translation of rna and by increasing the activity of cellular enzyme when we talk about the carbohydrate metabolism thyroid hormone involves in the stimulation of the all processes that are involved in the carbohydrate metabolism starting from the absorption of glucose from the gi tract thyroid hormone increases the uptake of glucose from the cells of the intestine it also enhances the glucose uptake by the cells by accelerating the transport of glucose through the cell membrane it increases the breakdown of glycogen into glucose moreover it increases enhances glycolysis that is uh, and also increases gluconeogenesis that is energy production from non carbohydrate source and also uh, involves in the production of insulin from secondary mechanism of the metabolism of thyroid hormone Similarly on the action of the lipid metabolism it stimulates thyroid hormone stimulates almost all the processes involved in the metabolism of the lipids and particularly lipids are metabolized from the fat tissues and when they are uh, metabolized and uh, mobilized from the fat tissue it decreases the fat stores of the body to a greater extent uh, and when they uh, they are removed from the fat stores it increases the free fatty acid concentration in the plasma and after that it accelerates oxidation of free fatty acids of the cells this increased thyroid hormone uh, in decreases the concentration of cholesterol phospholipids and triglycerides conversely when there then the condition of hypothyroidism that is decreased production of thyroid hormones in the body decreased thyroid hormone increases concentration of cholesterol phospholipids and triglycerides and causes excessive deposition of fat in the liver one diagnostic indication for hypothyroidism is increased blood cholesterol level Uh, when we talk about the action of uh, thyroid hormone on body temperature thyroid hormone increases the heat production in the body by accelerating various cellular metabolic processes and increasing bmr this uh, process is known as thyroid hormone induced thermogenesis during increased uh, secretion of thyroxine or hyperthyroidism the body temperature increasing greatly that lead to the excess sweating in the body and as compared to it when the thyroid hormone reduces in the body uh, individual feel more colder than the normal individual role of thyroxine in bo uh, body temperature when the temperature is hotter it lead to the hypothalamus to decrease production of the thyroid hormone resulting that uh, the energy production or the increased bmr is reduced in the body and lead to the temperature maintenance of the body as compared to it in colder temperature that lead to the hypothalamus to stimulate thyroxine uh, or thyroid hormone release that uh, lead to the increase by the basal metabolic rate and uh, resulting the heat production from the body and uh, help in the raising body temperature action on uh, growth thyroxine uh, has both general and specific effect on growth uh, thyroid hormone increases the production of growth hormone and also uh, it accelerates uh, the uh, metabolism or uh, function of the growth hormone by increasing uh, the protein uptake of the cell and uh, protein utilization to the skeletal muscle increase in thyroxine secretion or thyroid hormone secretion accelerates the growth of the body especially in growing children while lack of thyroxine arrest the growth and that lead to the decrease height of a person that is known as stunting stunting is the low height for age for an for a child and it is mostly a common sign and symptom in hypothyroidism thyroxine is more important to promote growth and development of brain during even fetal life and in first few years of postnatal life deficiency of thyroid hormone during this period also lead to the mental retardation Uh, when we talk about the basal metabolic rate uh, person body weight depends upon the basal metabolic rate and thyroxine is essential for also maintaining the body weight when there is increase in the thyroxine secretion the decrease in the body weight and fat storage as i have told earlier in the basal metabolic rate that when there is hyper secretion of thyroid hormone it increases 
uh, the metabolic rate to 60 to 100 percent this means that energy utilization is also increased to 60 to 100 percent moreover it also utilizes the fat storage in the body resulting the decrease in the weight and when there is decreased thyroid hormone production basal metabolic rate uh, decreases to 20 to 40 percent this means that energy utilization of the body has been reduced moreover fat storage increases in the body there is hyperlipidemia condition hypercholesteremia condition leading to the increased body weight all these mechanisms are linked to each other that how thyroid hormone increases the basal metabolic rate how it affects the body weight and how it affects the respiration rate Thyroxine increases the rate and force of respiration as uh, when they increase the metabolic rate, it increases the demand of the oxygen and formation of the carbon dioxide in the body. This demand in the oxygen uh, for the body utilization and increase in the formation of carbon dioxide, these two factors stimulates the respiratory centers to increase the rate and force of respiration. Generally, thyroid hormone increases appetite and food intake, but it also increases the secretion and movement of GI tract. So, hyperscretion of thyroxine or thyroid hormone causes diarrhea and lack of thyro, uh, thyroxine and thyroid hormone causes constipation. It also uh, plays a role for the central nervous system. Uh, thyroid hormone is the stimulating factor for the central nervous system, particularly the brain. Thyroxine also increases the blood flow to the uh, blood flow to the brain. Thus, during the hyperscretion of thyroxine, there is excess stimulation to the central nervous system. So, the person is likely to have extreme nervousness and may develop psychoneurotic problems such as anxiety complexes, excess worries, and paranoid thoughts. While in hyperscretion of thyroxine, lead to the lethargy and excess sleep. Uh, then, um, I will summarize the whole lecture in this uh, diagram that thyroid hormone the thyroid uh, hormone is produced from the thyroid uh, th thyrotropin releasing hormone from the uh, from the hypothalamus that lead to the production of tsh thyroid stimulating from hormone from the interior pituitary and this tsh lead in, uh, go to the inner general blood circulation and its target organ is thyroid gland and where uh, its start production of T3 and T4 and T3 T4 plays major role in the um, lipid metabolism, in carbohydrate metabolism, in pre protein metabolism, and it provide its basic goal of thyroid hormone is to provide adequate nutrients and energy and synthesis to the body. Thank you. Uh, the learning outcomes of this study that a student will be able to understand the normal thyroid anatomy and its structure and its regulation of thyroid hormone and its function. Thank you so much.